Hey everybody, this is Doomhammer, here to share with you another mod for a political machine. So, I've been playing on the All-Time Presidents mod, which was a collection of workshop-created candidates to make up every president in the United States history, and only the presidents of in United States history, to battle it out against each other uh, without anyone who is not a president, so it was a specific mod for that. But this one here is one that I've been piecing together with the expansive list of candidates from the workshop to make a 2024 expanded candidates mod, meaning that basically we're trying to get as many real life people who could be a presidential candidate or a vice president in 2024. I'll make some of these for earlier elections too. But we have people like Alex, uh, Adam Schiff. We see Alex Padilla, who is from California. Uh, we have Amy Klobuchar, Andrew Gilliam from uh, Florida. There is almost about a hundred, over a hundred candidates that you can pick from, and all of them can be chosen as vice presidents. Uh, we're still trying to fix this. I don't know why that there's a mistake there that I've been editing. That should say California. But then you've got things like Patrick Leahy. You've got Michelle Lujan Grisham from New Mexico. Uh, we do have uh, like all right, Tammy Duckworth, senator from uh, Illinois. Uh, I'm trying to remember we have like Stacey Abrams. So basically, if they are someone that could be a potential vice president, we're trying to get every single governor, every single senator, every uh, maybe former cabinet member. So you see like Merrick Garland is there, Mary Peltola, who is the uh, was uh, she's an Alaskan. Uh, Congresswoman, let me see. There's some other people here that were... Mike Mark Cuban. You could have the businessman if you want. LaFonza Butler. She was the one that filled out Feinstein's term. We still have Josh Stein, governor. Josh Shapiro, governor. Sometimes we also have some former... like We have current senators. We have former senators. Like Joe Crawley, former U.S. representative. The one that uh, AOC beat. Former governor. Jerry Brown. Uh, Jack Lou, so a lot of different great options there. Hakeem Jeffries, and so what this mod allows us to do <clears throat> is basically when you play as somebody. Deb, she was the one I was thinking of for. Uh, she was the Homeland Security. I forget uh, Secretary of Interior uh, for Biden. Uh, the computer is able to pick any one of these people to be a vice president, like Elaine Chao, who is with. Uh, former Secretary of Transportation for Trump, uh, Mastriano, uh, Dan Osborne, the guy that ran for it in Nebraska, Billy Long, Congressman, who uh, is now being tapped for one of the uh, Trump appointee spots, Bill Cassidy, from, uh, Senator from Louisiana, Bernie Marino, incoming from Ohio. Uh, there's, of course, the independents like Bill Weld, uh, Christy Nome, South, Car South Dakota Governor. Larry Hogan from Maine, or uh, Maryland, excuse me. Marco Rubio, the senator from Florida, soon to be Secretary of State. Even Matt Gates, uh, Again, Mar uh, Me Mehmet Oz, Dr. Oz is available. Mike DeWine from Ohio. So these are a collection of all these different candidates from the workshop. And it's just a really fun mod. <clears throat> the way you uh, import this, excuse me, the way you get this into the game, I have a older video that explains how to copy and paste this file into the mod. So below you'll see in the Google Drive, uh, a Google Drive link in the description. And in that description you'll be able to uh, download the notepad file. You just copy and paste into the game. But yeah, this, this is looking to be an exciting mod. I plan to make some with like older ones. Like you do all 2004 candidates or all uh, 1992 candidates or 1960 or earlier because there are so many great uh, candidates that you can pick. And so I'll just do a quick little uh, game here. I'll just do AI versus AI. Um, the one I'm going to use is Claire McCaskill. This is a former senator from Missouri. And she'll go up against, see, that's the guy that doesn't run the post office. Uh, I may try to choose a better opponent than that. Michael Fitchpack, who is he? New York Assembly, okay. Now we'll do uh, Mike DeWine, Governor of Ohio. <clears throat> and so we'll just let these two play it out. Uh, I'll put on fast forward here. 
And so, yeah, it's, there's going to be a lot of combinations. I know already people in the Discord are already using this for their games, and it's nice to see the unique vice president presidential combos. But just to really give Political Machine a big boost in what options you have for candidates. This is also great for primaries because you can play all these candidates in primaries, so you have a more expansive primary option. Looks like Claire's got a good lead. She's at 319. But yeah, this map is pretty blue. She's getting Georgia, all of the Southwest. DeWine's got a pretty good hold there in North Carolina, Ohio. Is it home state? All right, now that the VPs are selected. So it's going to be Sam Brown running with Mike DeWine and Phil Murphy from New Jersey with Claire McCaskill. I just love the randomization that this mod allows for. And we will be updating this mod consistently, so when there are new candidates available, obviously they're going to be updates so that we get them into the game. And of course we'll work on some retro campaign mods. Why is she holding on to that expert spin doctor? You gotta play that one, Claire. Unless she did. Did she play that? Oh, man. She's making a good move for Texas. Almost pulled it off. <laughs> so Sam Brown's from what state? The bat. All right, so let's see how this race turned out. It looks like Claire McCaskill has got it pretty well in hand. Yeah, and claiming the blue wall and getting Georgia along with Missouri, her home state, Iowa. Yeah, I can't see this going south for her. She's got it. 319 to 219, 100 electoral vote difference. I'm also, and then you, we can see there the uh, popular vote. McCaskill really destroys DeWine in this race. And here is their electoral map. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, please leave a like if you like this content, especially if you like learning more about these different mods that are available. Uh, it definitely makes the game a lot more fun. Uh, the game itself is enjoyable. Uh, and of course, when you're able to have a plethora, look at that word, yeah, give me props for that word, a plethora of candidates available to you. It makes it even more fun. And then uh, basically this allows you not to have to worry about subscribing and uns unsubscribing to certain candidates. You just copy and paste the candidates file into the game and you have all the candidates and they are all available for VP. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.